Reverend Deanna Cox here. I am coming to you live from my backyard uh, for your midweek reflection for on this St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Um, I'm hoping that this midweek reflection will be about restoration. Um, we'll see at the end if we get there. <laughs> and I say I hope because I woke up and I was kind of in the back of my mind was thinking about what I was going to share with you today but in the process like there's already been a lot going on this morning nothing bad just you know you tune into your Facebook and you read an article about how COVID has impacted our um, seniors and uh, you read you know, and then you read another article about something else going on in the world. And, you know, like yesterday we had that news story about the stabbing of a student in the Duke. And I have a friend who lives in Myanmar and who shared yesterday, I think it was, about how people are fleeing the cities now because they're under military rule and it, it things are getting really bad and we heard about flooding in Hawaii and at supper last night Steve uh, was having a conversation about the migrant refugees that are approaching the US border and then conversation in the car on the way home led to awareness of the kidnapping of ch like the hundreds of children in Nigeria, school children. Um, and it's, the list just kind of goes on and on and on. And in the whole time, I'm supposed to be focusing on healing and restoration. And then suddenly it kind of hit me that that's kind of what this whole thing is about is that the world the noise of the world is loud the problems of the world are huge and we can feel like we are adrift in a tsunami and how are we supposed to find healing for ourselves when we have to get up and go to work every day we have to or you know or deal with whatever is in our day children or school or you know whatever it is we all have our daily routine that we have to address even if that is loneliness depression medical needs um any like we have these daily things pressing on us that need to be addressed and in amongst that we are supposed to find healing time for self-care and it's like when <laughs> when it seems like the world can be crashing down around us and that has reminded me of what I've been trying to figure out as I transition back into work. How can I make time to find those moments of calm in the storm of life? And so I was just going to share with you some of the tips that I've been experimenting with because I'm not going to say they work because <laughs> it's a process of trial and error. Um, and so I, I actually have an alarm on my phone set for noon to remind me to take five minutes of meditation. And that takes different forms, but the essential task is to do nothing but focus on my breath, whether that be through yoga, or just sitting down or laying down for five minutes, whether that be listening to a guided meditation to help me focus. It's just five minutes to stop 
and do nothing but breathe. And I chose five minutes because I figured there was probably very little in my day that couldn't wait five minutes. Now that sounds really good. <laughs> I'm still not 100% successful at doing it, but I keep trying. And I also do things like I journal or I come outside and I stand with my face in the sun Or I get out and I go for a walk or somehow, some way, I connect with creation. On Sunday, I was so longing to be in the garden. <laughs> and as you know, it's a little too soon for that. So I repotted all my houseplants. That was my way of connecting with soil, with with earth that grounds us and with something green and growing to fill me with hope. And so these are the things that restore my soul so that I can find the energy, the courage, the hope to face the, the, the storm of the world, to speak out for love and grace and compassion and understanding that allow me to talk to you in venues like this. Um, it is what keeps me going day to day is that moment of calm and restoring my soul. And so I encourage you to make some time today and every day for the rest of this week and for the rest of the month for as long as you can manage it. I encourage you to stop, even if it's only for five minutes or two minutes, and to push out the chaos, the storm, the tsunami of the world just for a moment and to connect with the, the calm, and the divine within your vessel. Because that is what our scripture is about on Sunday, is about the weight of what we are called to do as followers of Jesus that can be overwhelming at times. And yet we contain within our vessel the divine presence that calms the storms of life and enables us to keep on journeying and enables us to know that we are not alone in whatever it is that we are going through. And so we're going to talk about a little bit more about restoration on Sunday. Um, I kind of think it's providential that this is um, the time to talk about restoration because you might have noticed these two chairs behind me. Um, well, March 15th, so just a couple days ago, was my maternal grandmother's birthday. She would have been 101. And so um, she loved to kind of restore things. And so these are two of her wooden chairs that I've had with me for a while. And she would paint them all. <laughs> um, you might notice this kind of beige one. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But I had over time sanded down the paint. And I don't know if you can see <laughs> I think I counted as I was sanding, I want to say like 11 different layers of paint. So <laughs> I will talk more about restoration on Sunday and how, you know, it, like I said, it's what we're called to is a lot of hard work um, and how restoration isn't always taking something back to its original form that 
restoration can also be making it something new or totally different. So there's some nuggets I hope that you can contemplate on about restoration for the rest of the week as we think about our world and our role in it as um, caretakers and caregivers as well as our own restoration, our own healing that we are required to do as people of God so that, like I said, so that we can go out into the world and share. And so friends, I don't have a prayer for today other than invite you to find wherever you are, perhaps a little patch of sunshine and turn your face to it. Notice the colors behind your eyelids, how they dance. And just to breathe deep and know that you are loved that you are held in God's divine love and to know that that means you're not alone. And so friends, I am going to get on with enjoying the sunshine and my work for the week, knowing that I can because I have paused for a moment to restore my soul. Take care and God bless you in your restorations this week. Bye.